Hello there. We're going to look at probability. And we're going to look at three parts of probability. We're going to look at theoretical probability first, then empirical probability, then probability from two-way tables. Let's look first at theoretical probability. Before we go any further, just remind ourselves there's two important uh, words we need to know the meaning of in uh, the study of probability. They are the word event and the word outcome. An event is something that happens, such as the roll of a dice, the flip of a coin, the spin of a spinner, the drawing of a card. The outcome is what happens as a result of the event. So for instance, an outcome from rolling a dice might be a six comes up, or an outcome from rolling a, a flipping a coin would be a head comes up, or a spinner might be one of the numbers on the spinner, and so on. Now, theoretical probability. This occurs when we assume that every outcome is equally likely. And it's best illustrated by looking at our old friend, the dice. What's the probability, notice the way we write things, of a six coming up? Well, there's one outcome we want out of a total of six. So the theoretical probability is one out of six. What about the probability of a five or six coming up? Well, now there's two outcomes we want that would satisfy our, uh, um, our desires here out of a total of six outcomes. What about flipping a coin? What, for instance, is the probability of a head? Well, there's one outcome we want out of a total of two outcomes. Theoretical probability, where we assume that each of the outcomes is equally likely. Now, theoret uh, let me move on to empirical probability. That's when we've carried out some sort of study could be, um, as it is here, looking at uh, the rain over the course of a number of days, or it could be by rolling a dice and seeing how many times a one came up, a two, and so forth. How do we work out probability here? Well, let's have a look again with an example. What's the probability of rain? Well, here we look at the outcomes that, um, that were rain over the total number of outcomes we observed, which was 50. So the probability of rain is 23 out of a total of 50. What's the probability of it being foggy? Well, we observed nine outcomes where it was foggy out of a total of, as before, 50. So with empirical probability, we look at some experiment that's been uh, carried out, some observation we've uh, undertaken. And finish off now, it's very similar to empirical probability, a probability from two-way tables. Here you go. What's the probability of one of the people being selected at random being male? Well, there were 55 males out of a total of a hundred. So as you can see it's very similar to the way we work with empirical probability. Oops, I put 50 to 9, sorry I meant 55. The reason I've done a special bit on uh, two-way tables is what's it's this type of question, what's the probability given that the person is a female that they wear glasses? So given that they're female, so it's already decided that they're going to be female, that they wear glasses. Well, how many females wear glasses? It's 32. But what goes underneath? What's the denominator? Well, we're told that they are female. They're already decided that they're female. So it's out of the 45 females. So the denominator is 45. So be careful when using two-way tables um, to work out empirical probability that you read the question carefully. If it says, given that they're such and such, then the denominator is not going to be this total here. 
give you one more example of that. What's the probability given that they wear glasses? That they are male. Well, how many people that wear glasses are male? Well, it's 37. I think most of us will get that. But the denominator is going to be 69 because it's already been decided that they are male. Okay, thank you for listening.